Stealth air compressors. They're sold on Amazon and also sold at Lowe's. They come from one gallon all the way up to 20 gallons. They're used from construction all the way into automotive and maybe some spraying. They claim to be super quiet and that's what their name implies and that's what they're going with trying to do their sales. So what we're going to do is test out this three gallon unit here. This is going to be a construction model meant for basically finish nailing, maybe an occasional framing nailer, but I mean you're going to be pushing this significantly so it would be very occasional use. But we'll see how quiet it is, how well it does its recovery, how fast it pumps up, and also how loud it is. Stick with us. Before we get too deep in the weeds, this air compressor is 3.5 CFM at 40 PSI, 2.5 CFM at 90 PSI. It's not super powerful. It's not going to run an impact wrench. Doubtful it'll run a airbrush unit possible look at your tools to make sure they fit those specs this is 150 psi max it will kick itself back on around 120 psi so it's meant for running tools in the 90 pound range this guy weighs 44 pounds it's heavy it does have a nice carry handle on top but there's a lot of weight there. Obviously it's in the motor, in the compressor. I can't imagine that this tank weighs a lot, but it does look like this unit is pretty well built other than a few things that I'll point out in a little bit. Let's first go through the break-in period on this. It's going to be per the manual 30 minutes. So it's by far the longest break-in period that I've ever had to deal with. So what they want you to do, open the tank drain on the bottom and then turn the unit on. I'm sure my mic is picking it up because my mic's right here, but the reality is that's not loud. And if you put that on the floor and walk away a little bit, it's actually super quiet. Most of the noise you're getting is from that drain. So 30 minutes, I'll be back. So most other air compressors that we've ever dealt with are a break-in of 10 minutes. So 30 minutes felt like an absolute eternity. So let's come in close. Let's time this out as far as it pumping up to full pressure. And then let's time out its recovery and see what happens there. All right, this is going to be 0 to 150 PSI. One forty three to pump it up completely. That is not bad at all. And I think in here you can hear that this dude is not loud, which is great. So what we're going to do now is let some air out till we get to one twenty, and then time its recovery. Thirty-four, thirty-five seconds to recovery is not too bad. All right, while this would be a little bit different if it was on the floor because the hose wouldn't bend straight down, I guess here I would want to have a 90 uh, on my connection so that I at least didn't have this big bend in the hose. If it did kink, it could be bad. So we have an 18 gauge nailer here. Let's just see how many nails we put in before it kicks on. Twenty and what the hell? Eighteen gauge nailer rather than sixteen. Let's see how many we get here.
28. So the testing with the rigid nailers kind of went south, but I set this guy up at 90 pounds. You notice it's at 60 now. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit more testing to see how reliable this regulator actually is. But at this point, I want to look at a decibel meter because they claim this is in the 60 decibel area. We're going to just let some air out here and let this guy go to work and walk around it. Decibel readings on that, although I don't know how accurate the phone is with that sound meter, but they weren't bad. And I think they're pretty reflective of what you'll hear. Now my microphone, being where it is, always picks up these air compressors and makes them seem a little bit louder. This is not loud at all and it's very impressive. Obviously right here is where our muffler is for the air intake and that was the loudest part of the unit. Let's mess around a little bit more with this regulator and just see, because I think I know what happened here as far as when the regulator dropped the PSI to 60 and the nails stopped going in completely. So after messing with this for a while with a different tool, I can get the pressure to go down, but it does creep back up slowly. I think when I initially set this at 90, I was probably coming from a higher area. Came down to 90, came up a little bit. And right there is what I got. It didn't come back much. So realistically, that was user error on my side. I should have checked it and then raised it back up to 90 and then checked it again. We'd have been good. I have to say spending the last three hours with this thing trying to just figure it out, test it out, do different things, get the camera angles and everything right, it's been fairly impressive. It is made in China. It is 6.5 amp if any of you guys are wondering on the job site what it's going to take for power. But realistically it seems to come up to full PSI quick and as far as its um, return capabilities or recovery capabilities. It's not bad at 33 to 35 seconds. I like it. I like that you at least have a three gallon tank here so you can do quite a bit with that. If you're gonna drop down much more than that, you're gonna start to really limit yourself. So I know people are gonna say, hey, can I airbrush with it? That, we get that all the time. Guys, look at your airbrush. 2.5 CFM at 90, 3.5 CFM at 45. Is it below that? If it is, this will work and it would be nice and quiet because if you could get this away from you, especially when you're working in a house, if you're trimming or something, you're hardly even going to know that this thing turns on and off if it's 10, 15 feet away. I think that's pretty awesome and it gives you another somewhat affordable option for air compressors that are out there that are quiet. This seems to be a huge trend and I might pick up one of their larger models just to see if that larger model still keeps up. A lot of you guys are going to say, I don't like oil-free air compressors. Obviously, this is one. And I, I kind of like the oiled ones also, but they're not that quiet. So for the specific use, this is kind of where you're going to lean in multiple different areas. And we've seen a ton of air compressors come out lately from some of the larger style ones, a big large pancake to this hot dog style. And it's all going to be a matter of how you want to transport it. Like I said, this dude weighs 44 pounds. You know it when you pick it up. It's big, it's large, it's not that hard to carry. It's got a great carry handle on top. It's just one of those things where it feels heavy compared to even some of the six gallons that we've looked at lately. 
that's not a bad thing. I kind of like uh, heavy just because I feel like there's something here that I'm paying for. So I'm going to leave some links in the description to this and to some of the other models that they have out there. When you're shopping around, take a look at them at Lowe's and leave some comments below. I'm super interested as to what you have to say. As always, we appreciate your time. Give us a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a great day.